Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for May 18th, 2020 for the collective for all signs. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Now I am using, um, I'm going to start this reading with the Mystical Shaman Oracle by Colette Baron reed Alberto Vigildo, and Marcela Lobo. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a card and I'm going to read from the book for you because this is a new deck for me. Um, but also as I've been sort of studying it, um, the messages are really powerful. So let's go ahead and get into this reading for the collective May 18th, 2020. You get the arrow. Okay, so just take a look. I'm going to leave that up here for you. Number three. Immediately I'm getting some of you guys are seeing 333 three, three synchronicities. Um, and 33 is also our master teacher number. All right. So it's about growth and about expansion as well. So the arrow, um, the essence of the arrow is um, it's a reminder to um, that when you are in alignment with your heart and soul, you are on target and will soon be hitting your mark. Be true to your calling, release attachments, and free yourself from the bondage of unbridled ambition. Now is revealed to be a moment of contact in which your intention meets the material world. The arrow also symbolizes the need to set your creativity free. When the arrow zings through the air, it's inviting you to pay attention and signifying that you are about to make your mark in some aspect of your life. It illuminates the moment of contact when you know that your desires and intentions have traveled on the wind and landed in the perfect place for your highest good. Trust that your job is to be relaxed yet focused, keeping your eye on the prize yet releasing your intention with full expectation that it will land as it is supposed to. Don't worry about the how or the exact form. This is not a time to interfere with the manner in which the arrow flies. It will make its mark and you will have your cause to celebrate. All right. So for those of you who have been with me for a while, you know that this, this is my Eight of Wands card, right? Which originally were the arrows of love and all about law of attraction. So you guys are definitely getting the job done. Okay, but remember the importance of aligning your heart and your soul, and your mind, your actions, and then also detaching, the importance of detachment, so detaching from the outcome. Just know that it will come to you when it is supposed to and how it is supposed to and if it is for your highest good. And then also the importance of gratitude, you guys. All right. Messages for the Collective, May 18th, 2020. I'm not reading reversals, you guys. I don't know if it will be all week or if it's just today. I just sort of... Listen to my guides. Nice. Wow. You get the Empress and the Emperor. Oh my gosh. Guys, overall energy, Eight of Wands. <laughs> Was I not just talking about this card? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Spirit. Look at that synchronicity. So you guys are definitely getting synchronicities in your daily life. Just tune into them, you guys. I think a lot of you are seeing numbers. Some of you might be seeing names. Remember, we're also, uh, we have Venus retrograding in Gemini. So we're getting lots of people coming back to us. So in the dream space, you might be dreaming about people or things and then seeing them on social media the next day or maybe even in person. Um, you might be seeing feathers on the ground. Oh, I just, the list goes on and on and on. The eight of wands, law of attraction, you guys. I don't think I need to go over that because it was basically everything that was said in the arrow card. So, wow, I'm just personally blown away here. So you guys have the ultimate divine masculine and divine feminine. So again, for some of you guys, this is... This is love. This is twin flame union, soulmate union, life partner union. Okay, whatever it is, it's divine masculine and feminine. If it doesn't speak to you as far as a relationship is concerned, um, it is that, that union between the masculine and the feminine within. The absolute beautiful, beautiful thing of this is for some of you guys, again, are meeting that person in the dream space. 
Um, and you guys are healing. If you're not connecting here in the 3D, you're connecting in the 5D. One or both of you are doing the work. If you're doing the work for a partner who isn't, who maybe hasn't awakened yet or something like that, this is confirmation that to keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Um, for others of you, you know, you just, you can feel this energy. You can feel this energy around you. Um, in my meditation yesterday and today, I keep getting the same vision of, um, it's kind of like beauty and the beast. It's like very feminine, very masculine and the masculine inviting the feminine to, for a dance and their dance is around the universe. It's the, their ballroom is the universe. It's the moon, the sky, the stars, the galaxies, and it's absolutely beautiful and inviting. It's just the most mesmerizing image that's come to me in my morning meditations now for a couple days. Um, I do want, I'm going to ask you guys to please check out your, um, north and south nodal axis shift readings, which should all be up by today. Check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs, um, because their messages were there. A lot of, some of them were about love. Others were about, you know, the challenges that we have to go through in the next two years or 18 months. Um, but that the rewards are going to be so great. And for some of them, it was union. For other signs, it's balance. So just definitely check those out. But anyway, back to the back to this reading. Setting your intentions, law of attraction, bringing about union. For some of you, this is creativity. This is fertility. Some of you, it has to do with bringing new life into the world. For others of you, it's injecting your life with purpose, finding your soul's purpose. And, you know, once you're aligned, anything you touch turns to gold. You're going to see that so many things fall into place. The emperor, so she's Venusian energy, Libra, Taurus. Okay. And she's passion. She's compassion. She's maternal energy. Um, she's just amazing, <laughs> like all around beautiful, amazing. She's so strong. Like if anybody ever comes up against the Empress, she doesn't have to move. She doesn't even have to lift a finger. What she thinks about even for a nanosecond, she, it, it comes to fruition. Okay. So she's this, you know, this energy is so, so strong. The emperor is, you know, is her counterpart is the divine masculine is Aries energy. And the emperor is standing in his power. He's about authority. He can be aggressive. Um, there's this intense physical attraction between them. All right. And he's holding, look at this. He's holding like a chess piece. I don't know chess well enough. And I wish I did. I think it's a rook, but I don't know. <laughs> you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, he's very analytical. He's strategic. They are the perfect complement to each other and they're creating two, one become two, two become three. And basically the world is their oyster. The amount of power that they harness when they're in union, when they're aligned, oh, amazing. I can't even, I don't even have words for it. It's just this feeling I'm getting. I don't even have words. The queen of cups, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Um, more specifically, you know, she's the, she's the, she, she represents like Gemini cancer cusp energy. Um, she's about intuition. She is, you know, she's minor arcana, but she, she's the one who, who speaks most frequently with the high priestess, communicates with the high priestess. So it's all about trusting your intuition. But what I'm getting here, you guys, it's, it's like really clear for me. What I'm getting here, this is your energy. And if we take this card and we put it here, this is what I was mentioning. You guys doing the work. You guys meeting in the dream space. You doing the, the meditations, the aligning, the balancing, the healing. Everything that's necessary to bring the masculine and the feminine into union. Now, if for some of you this, you know, maybe you're already in union or maybe for some of you this doesn't resonate, it's about you doing the work that's affecting the collective. Okay, so whether you're looking at it from a romantic point of view or whether you're looking at it as doing like Reiki energy and healing and the up-leveling and the awakening that you go through affects your collective because we're all energetically connected. So I really see that's your power. The power to give and receive love, the power to, you know, the power of law of attraction. Also that what you are, you are attracting, what you want to manifest for yourself, that you manifest for others. Cause I'm getting that right. That you manifest, you want wealth, you want abundance, you want health, you want happiness, you want love. 
wish the same for your neighbor. And I see you guys doing that. I see some of you guys doing, you know, coming together in community to do Reiki healing for the world, especially for during the Corona pandemic. Maybe you're focusing on certain areas, you know, like New York or, you know, Brazil and Mexico, whatever, whatever places are being really hard hit. Maybe you're just sending this energy to your friends and your family, but it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. And again, the power of coming into union or the power of balancing yourself, how beneficial that is for the collective. And then you get the Six of Cups. This is soulmate energy. More specifically, this is a Scorpio card. Um, so some of you might have Scorpio in your chart dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but most of all, it's all about you know bringing that joy and that childlike bliss back. It's about soulmate reunion. I mean, the Six of Cups, soulmate twin flame energy, Queen of Cups making it happen. Emotional balance and intuition. Wow. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull some Oracle cards for you guys to see what additional messages we have for May 18th, 2020. You get gifted. Yeah. So I'm getting some of you guys are absolutely amazing, amazingly gifted healers, but you're also gifted. Like you guys have learned the secret to law of attraction. You guys have been gifted with information and abilities. Um, you're tapping into those abilities to bring this union about and this balance and this healing, not only for yourself, but for others. Knowledge. Mm hmm yeah, this is the spiritual, you know, some of you guys, this is awakening. This is being privy to the knowledge that you need to be led into that, to the high priestess's temple. Mystical knowledge and material knowledge, okay, earthly knowledge, and that you're conquering it. You've been through, you know, you've gone through the tests, the trials, and the tribulations, all right? And this is making contact, wow. Powerful because contact here, this is contact in the 5D. For some of you, you're going to be bringing it into the 3D, definitely, definitely. And you guys know who you are. You you probably can feel it, okay? But others of you, this is making contact with your twin or soulmate in the 5D, in the dream space. For others of you, you're contacting others for healing or they're contacting you. You guys are meeting in the dream space for healing. This contact is very, very important. It's very important for healing and it's also very important for the up leveling and um, the enlightenment, up leveling and enlightenment of the collective. Okay, some of you guys are probably, you might hear, you might turn around because you think you heard something or saw something and then, you know, in the 3D, nothing's there. Again, this is your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides all making contact with you to give you the messages that you need to hear to bring about this union or this balance. Again, this union can be you and your higher self. It does not have to be romantic. Success. Yes, of course, I knew it. I'm just like, I'm jumping up and down over here. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And that love is for your neighbor, it's for your pet, for your spouse, your lover, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your family, your friends, for your community, for the world, for Gaia and fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah, so it's not, it hasn't been easy and it's not always going to be easy. And I think you guys, I'm getting that you guys are holding space. You are holding serious space for those that haven't awakened yet, for the world. Okay. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is just, you guys, this is powerful healing energy. Very, very powerful. Thank you. Thank you because I'm a part of it. I'm a part of your healing. I'm a part of your journey. I can feel it happening. I'm affected by you guys. Final message for the collective, May 18th, 2020. Oh. <laughs> Rhiannon, and sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Yeah, I mean, come on, Eight of Wands, Law of Attraction. Look what's under the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Cha-ching. You guys are bossing up in a big way, in a huge way, in a way that doesn't even have words, you guys. It doesn't even have words. I'm going to pull starseed oracles for you and then let you be on your way. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for listening. Let's go ahead and see what messages we have here. 
the sky. Stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. Blue flame. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I before I read this, I want to tell you something. I was about to mention, and I think this came up in my Taurus reading, or it came up in Scorpio. Um, it wasn't Scorpio. I don't remember which one it was, but about the three chambers of the heart. We have an airplane coming over, seeing the big picture, and then a massive ascension, right? Up, up, and away for you guys. I mean, I can see it. It's awesome. But it was so interesting because I was... The blue flame is the ascended master. It's that Christ consciousness. So our heart chakra has three chambers. It has the healing green light. It has the pink light of, you know, compassion and love. And then it has the blue flame aspect. It's so funny because I was about to mention that when I saw the emperor and the empress and I just didn't, but spirit says it's worth mentioning. So there are certain meditations that you can do and there's healings that you can do to open up all three chambers of your heart chakra. So normally we think of the heart chakra just as the green, but right. But we also know that rose quartz correlates to the heart chakra. So again, do a little bit of investigation because there are three chambers and the third one is that blue light. Okay. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. That's the energy of the ascended masters. Some of you guys are ascending at a rapid pace and really like really going above and beyond what I think you ever thought anybody could do. I'm telling you, I can feel it. I can feel the power in this reading. I can feel you guys doing the work. If you get a chance, try to do a blue flame meditation. Okay. Um, and then some of you are, are working with ascended masters. Um, and that's, you know, that's going to resonate with you right away as soon as I said it or I pulled that card. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. This is a magnetic and very powerful daily reading. It has connotations for much more, much bigger than just May 18th. Um, I love you so much. Thank you for listening. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.